Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be installing the new controller board into the old controller. So this is the old uh, non-altitude control hold uh, controller transmitter. And so we're going to actually remove this piece off the back because one of the things, um, as I mentioned in the unboxing, the, the antenna for this is soldered right on to here. So now there's probably a couple ways I could probably do this. Uh, but for the time being, I'm just going to accept the existing antenna um, because it's actually connected on the back. So I'd have to remove this, remove the glue to, to get at it and everything, whereas this is exposed. So anyways, this is what we're going to do. So um, to disassemble this in a stock form, you in short have a number of screws that you have to undo. You can see here, here, and here, 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 and here. Here. I think I've got all that in frame. So I'm going to speed this up and uh, kind of let you watch it in fast motion as I uh, disassemble this because this could get a little bit boring. Okay. So now that we got this open, one of the things I'm going to have to do is desolder these two wires from the back here. So I'm going to jump over to my soldering station and do this real quick. Uh, since it's just two wires, I'm not going to show that. Uh, so I'll be back in a quick second. Okay, so I've desoldered this from the back. Now we need to uh, remove, there's a number of screws here, 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 I believe here, here. And then across the bottom there are four. So again, I'm going to speed this up not to bore you, but that's the basic principle. Okay, so we're back. So one of the things, these just pop on and pop off. Um, they are slotted, so you need to take that into account. Uh, it doesn't make a difference which way they go. They both appear the same. Uh, now, the next thing we need to do is remove or separate this um, connector. So I'm going to use a small regular screwdriver to see if I can't get in there and separate this off. This is for the uh, LCD screen in the front. So, as you can see here, the LCD screen. Now some of the buttons and things will fall off. These are kind of a little bit of a bear to get back in, but that's okay. Um, so you have your rocker tabs here for your trims. And so that's all set. So now what we need to do is go ahead and place these on top of these connectors and push them on. Remember they're a little bit, they're, they're tabbed or they're notched. I don't know if I say really notch, they're kind of rectangular shaped and they go on there. And then now you see we have the controllers here. And then what we need to do is plug back in our LCD display. Does it go this way? So it kind of goes a little bit upside down you have to twist the cable it appears now the other thing we need to do is make sure we get our uh, oh we put I think the switch back in from the other side sorry it's been a while since I've worked on one of these so we now put this back in and all the holes line up so now this is where a little bit of the tricky part comes in is we need to put these buttons back in now the one piece pins inside here while it goes on top of here. So you kind of got to tilt it a little bit and put it in. And you'll notice that there's a downside to them. And that's the downside is going to go towards the button. And so now this is what you have. So um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try something. Because the, the sticks stick out, pardon the pun, so I'm going to try resting it. Well, no, I'm not. That's not going to work. I'm just going to have to kind of, you can have to kind of hold it while you put some of the screws back in. I typically go for the center screws first. 
Now this this screwdriver here is actually that came with the kit a very nice screwdriver. I've been impressed with this. And you know, usually they have some kind of cheap knockoff screwdriver, but this one is actually pretty good. Because a lot of times, you know, with the hardened tip, they paint it, but this is actually truly a hardened tip. It's also magnetic, too, but it, the magnetic, mag, blah, its uh, magnetic abilities are limited. So, as you can see here, I don't want to turn it all the way over because I don't want the knobs to fall out, but I think you can see everything's sort of buttoned in there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of the screws and speed, the uh, rest of the screws, put the board in. To speed it up. Now, one of the things before I do that, if you didn't note, there is a positive and minus on here before um, you go to wire the batteries back because that's what I'm going to do is after I finish this, I'm going to take it back to the soldering station and, and wire the uh, power leads back on. But I'm going to go through and do a time lapse of uh, me reinstalling the screws just so you can kind of get a picture. Okay, so that's it. We got the board tucked back up in there. What I'm going to do is stick this antenna sort of up into this other antenna housing like it really matters, but looks good anyway. And now I'm going to go back over to the soldering station, connect these back up, so I'll be back in a quick second. Okay, I'm back. One of the things I, I wanted to share with you guys, uh, the leads are long enough to fold a clamshell style and solder them back here, so this actually worked out pretty easy. Um, because the other wires were a little bit short of doing that as you can see. So this is a nice feature that they added uh, into this board is the longer power lead so now that you can lay it open like this. So this is definitely a huge plus. Makes it a lot easier. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and button up this back. Now one of the things you want to make sure that these um, are still seated on the buttons and still in their little slots and if that's good um, we're going to want to close this up. And again, we've got a lot of extra wire. Make sure it's folded up in there. And that everything kind of snaps closed. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just drop in a few of these. And I'm going to jump back to a time lapse of screwing these all together. Okay, we're back. Here we go. So, as you saw in the last step of the time lapse, I put the switch on. It just slides in from the front. I've got the uh, all the trims work, sticks work, buttons work. I'm going to have to relabel the buttons. The buttons are a little bit different on here. Um, but here we go. Everything's reassembled. Probably took maybe a little bit less than 15 minutes if I really rushed. I could probably do this in about five to seven minutes. Very simple. Uh, obviously only two solder joints on this thing to change the battery leads and boom, you're done with this. So uh, now this shows you how to upgrade the controller. So in the first episode we did the copter and which is, uh, actually I want to bring that back on screen just briefly. So here's the uh, finished version of the copter and uh, you see we put the extended legs, I got the camera on here. Uh, a number of people have been asking about how, how will this fly, what kind of power it's going to have, so I'm you know assuming that if you're going to go through the trouble of doing this you want to fly a camera. So I'm going to fly a Go, Go, GoPro, I'll spit it out, still early in the morning here. Uh, whole build came together very nice, I put the pods on even though uh, really not necessary, they're empty, and um, put the props on. One of the other things that I may have not covered in the last are these little hexagon pieces are for the props. Uh, they give you two sets of them and they fit inside the prop like that. So in case you lose a set, you have an extra set because I don't know where you would get these if you lost them. Uh, but it's, So it's good that they give you two sets. Anyways, in the next video, uh, we'll actually put this together uh, you know, as far as binding and we'll take it out for a flight and see how it works. So cheers. See you in the next video. Thank you.